What's up everybody? We're back on the water. We're gonna have a great day. We're kind of starting a later morning. I wanted to get a vibe for the nine o'clock hour um, and see what these fish are doing. So we've got a bluebird day. Check it out. It, don't, it just, it simply does not get any more beautiful than that. It is, um, it's awesome. But we're in the fall and I can tell you right now, this morning the water was rising, steam was rising big time. The temperatures are dropping. We've got, uh, gosh, the water's got to be roughly around 69 right now, 69, 70. So we'll check that out here. Let's get to a spot and uh, we're going to be casting to them and uh, checking them out. So anyway, we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's do this. Here we go. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Man, you've got to love a bluebird day midday during the fall because I tell you, it just doesn't get much better. Because like I said before, you can catch these fish all day long. It does not matter. And that's what makes fall just a great time to catch them. Oh, you can't beat it. The steam is actually still rising. Even after it being only being nine o'clock still, but we're gonna move this seat over. Guide trips have been going fantastic. And there's still availability, so check out three pound fishing guide service. You can get a hold of me at three three pound fishing at gmail.com. Um let's get our rod. Ozark rod, 10 footer all day long. And the optimized or optimal sniping braid super small check it out at snipingbraid.com i folks i wanted to freeze it right there it is on sale right now through october 31st 20 percent off everything on the website great opportunity to fill up for this great I just fall absolutely bite. love it cannot go wrong so i gotta keep some fish today because uh i have some guys guys working on the house and i told them i'd bring up some fillets I'm gonna cut them up for them and everything. Clean them. Probably the number one question we always talk about on a guide trip, it's funny. Here comes our first cast though, is uh, how do you prepare your crappie? And we're kind of old school at my house. We just crumble up crackers. <laughs> you know, nothing fancy. We don't do the, I know a lot of people are big fans of the Andes. Um, but we just do the, the, the crackers, but I know there's some, I've even tried the Doritos. Have you guys tried up crunching up the Doritos and the Fritos? There's our first customer. Uh, that is our first fish of this beautiful day. We're all thankful to be be out and right there. Good little eater. Changed bait, went to one of my hair jigs, and that's the first drop with a hair jig. Not that they weren't biting on the. All right, you gotta love the sound of braid, man. You just gotta love it. It just, hair jig. All right, some of these different piles that I don't typically get to and seems like the hair jig's working better right now. Although I gotta tell you, I never felt the bite. He just, or she just sucked it right in. 
that's number two in a row with two casts with this. I'm back and forth between a paddle tail and a hair jig. It just doesn't seem to matter. And I won't say it's the most aggressive bite I've ever been a part of, but they are definitely not being choosy. You gotta love fall fishing, man. It's there's another one. One after another. <laughs> so I'm playing with so many baits today. Um, and again, most of them are, are working, but a, kind of a smoky, sparkly, uh, that's the one I've been fishing with lately. Just a simple minnow style. You can get a lot of those minnow styles on my website, 3poundfishing.com. Uh, I like when I when we talk about you know a minnow style bait. I like ones that just look like a dang minnow. I mean, I want them to look as close to a minnow as possible. Um, but also, most importantly, you got to remember that those fish, those those baits need to act like minnows. I understand that sometimes you know jigging it and that type of thing will trigger a bite without a doubt. But I thought I think more times than not, if that bait is acting smoothly, it intrigues even a better bite. Um, but that's you know that's my experience. So. So I always encourage on the guide trips is that to, to make your bait look realistic, any jerky motion isn't necessarily going to be realistic for the fish. Now, is there a fish out there that's going to like that jerky motion? Yes, that's because fish are like humans. They're just, they're everywhere. Every different, you know, everybody has different personalities. But I also tell people that if you're not getting bit, you know, trying to be natural or doing the jerky thing, try the other way. You know, mix it up. If you can't constantly do the same thing and you're not getting bit, then obviously something needs to change. It sounds simple, but I'm even guilty of it. I'm stuck in the, you know, some of my ways I like fishing. So do something different. Folks, that's going to end it. We had a great day on the water. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.